30 years after his conviction, Mumia Abu Jamal finds out this morning whether he'll be getting a new trial. He has been serving a life sentence for the 1981 murder of Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner. For more on that, let's head out live now to Eyewitness News reporter Rossi Mate outside of the Criminal Justice Center. And Ross, a group of his supporters have been gathering outside of the courthouse ahead of this decision there. That's exactly right, Janelle and Jim. I'm sure my umbrella is blocking the view behind me, so let me step out of the way to show you that group of people that are gathered outside of the Criminal Justice Center right now. I've been watching them as they've been handing out pamphlets. They're holding up signs, and you may be able to faintly hear them. Uh, they've started chanting free Mamiya in the background, so uh, it's clear what side of this they are on. They've been trying to educate as many people as possible about Mamiya's case and their fight to free him. Now, if you're not familiar with this case, Mamiya Abu Jamal has been behind bars for 42 years now. He was originally sentenced to death back in 1982 after a jury convicted him of killing Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner. But in 2011, after numerous appeals, his death sentence was overturned in federal court and prosecutors agreed to a life sentence without parole instead. Well, Mamiya has been a member of the general prison population since then, but that hasn't stopped his supporters from criticizing his case. His attorneys have argued that his trial was tainted by a biased judge and he deserves a retrial. They also claim that there is new evidence of misconduct by police and prosecutors involved in Mamiya's case, including bribing star witnesses to testify against him. So many different um, independent investigators found the new evidence, um, several boxes of evidence that hadn't even been reviewed. Um, it becomes clear that uh, there was a lot of um, malplay in this whole situation. And um, at this point, we maintain his innocence because he is innocent. However, it is worth noting here that the Faulkner family, that is the family of the officer who was killed in this case, as well as politicians and different law enforcement groups have all maintained Mamiya is guilty beyond question. His trial was fair and that his sentence is justified. Back out here live, I do want to remind you that during a hearing back in October, the judge made it clear that she does not intend to uh, grant Mamiya a retrial, and we're expecting her to reiterate that this morning, although uh, she is speaking currently in the courtroom. That decision could come at any second, so I'm going to head inside there and bring you the very latest as soon as we get an update on this case. We'll bring that to you live on air and online. We're live outside of the Criminal Justice Center. Ross DiMatteis, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ross. We're looking forward to that update. Appreciate it.